Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate load combinations and specify analysis commands in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we will focus on generating our load combinations and performing a P-delta analysis for a model that has already been created in the Physical Modeler. This model already contains dead load, live load, and wind load in both the X and Z horizontal directions. So let's go ahead and get started with the first step in our workflow, which is to generate our load combinations. In STAD Pro, we have two different methods for generating load combinations. You can create a traditional load combination in which a set of load results will be combined algebraically to produce a superimposed set of results for post-processing, or you can create repeat primary load cases. This would be a new primary load case that would use combinations of previously defined primary load cases. Whenever you're performing a second order analysis, including a P-delta analysis, a direct analysis, or a model that contains tension only or compression only members, you will want to create repeat load cases to represent your load combinations to ensure that your second order effects will be properly considered in your analysis. So let's go ahead and turn our attention back to our STAD Pro physical modeler and let's generate our load combinations. Now before generating the load combinations, I'm going to check my analysis options to see what type of load combinations are currently set. To do that, I will go to the data tab in the ribbon toolbar and then click on the options icon. In the options dialog, I'm then going to select the analysis model tab and I'm going to take a look at my combination load cases. Since I'm planning and performing a second order analysis, I'm going to ensure that the repeat primary load cases option is selected. Once I am finished, let's go ahead and click OK. I am now ready to generate my load combinations. To do that, we'll select the loading tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the automatic combinations icon. Within this dialog, I will select the appropriate code and table that I'm interested in using. For this exercise, I will be using the ASCE 716 and the strength design table where my live load is less than 100 PSF. This is an LRFD style load combination generator and it is installed with STAD Pro when you install the software. If you would like some additional information regarding each code or table, you can click on the Manage Rules button to review the load combination generator. In addition to that, you can also select whether or not you want to include load groups or notional loads. And these two options will only be available when you are generating repeat style primary load cases. Neither of these are applicable to my particular model, so I'm going to leave both of them unselected. Lastly, we can go ahead and review the combinations that the program is planning to create. Once you are done, click OK to officially generate your load combinations. As a reminder, if you're automatically generating your load combination, the program will use the load category that was defined for each load case in order to determine which combinations and which factors to apply to that load. Here I can see the load combination spreadsheet is now available in the data area, showing me all the different load combinations that have been generated. Once you have finished 
creating your load combinations, you are now ready to assign your analysis commands. To do that, go to the Loading tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Analysis Commands icon. For this particular model, we are going to have one analysis set, and we are going to set this to a P-delta analysis. After selecting your analysis type, you're then going to move on to specifying some additional information that would be required for the analysis type you selected. Here we're going to start by entering the number of iterations. If specified, the program will perform the specified number of iterations, whether or not the solution converges. We typically recommend for an iterative solution somewhere between 5 and 25 iterations. The next option is to use the geometric stiffness or KG method. A regular STAD Pro P delta analysis performs a first order linear analysis and obtains a set of joint forces from member or plates based on large P delta effects. These forces are added to the original load vector. A second analysis will then be performed on this updated load vector. In the P delta KG analysis, the effect of the axial stress after the first analysis is used to modify the stiffness of the member plates. A second analysis is then performed using the load vector. Large and small P delta effects are always included when using the geometric stiffness method. For this particular exercise, I'm going to go ahead and ask the program to perform, perform an iterative solution for my P delta analysis, and I'm going to use the geometric stiffness option in the unselected position. Finally, the program is going to ask me if I want just P large delta or P small delta in addition to that. So P large delta will always be included when you specify a P delta analysis. P large delta includes a second order effects induced on a structure due to the movement of its mass under lateral loads. In addition to that, I can also ask the program to include the P small delta effects or the second order effects caused by displacement of the member between its bracing points. For this particular model, I'll go ahead and leave that option selected. After specifying your analysis option, let's go ahead and move on to the load conditions. Now, when you are generating repeat style load combinations, you're going to want to make sure your load combinations are assigned to an analysis set for them to be written to your input file when you create your analytical model. In addition to that, all of your load cases should also be assigned to an analysis set. Since this model contains just one analysis set, I'm going to make sure that everything, load cases and combinations, are moved over to the selected load conditions window. Once I'm ready, let's go ahead and click OK and save our model. Now at this point, we are finished with our modeling steps and are ready to send this model over to the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler. To do that, let's select the Model tab in the ribbon toolbar and ask the program to return to the Analytical Modeler. Once the analytical model is created successfully, go ahead and click OK, which will close down the physical modeler and will open your model in the, phys in the analytical modeler. Now when I return to the analytical modeler, I do like to take a look at some of the information that I created in the physical modeler. So the first step we did today was we took a look at our load combinations. We generated repeat style load combinations, which are necessary for performing any type of second order analysis. If I were to take a look at my load case details, I can see that these contain repeat loads and that portion of my workflow was done successfully. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the analysis tab 
And we can also see that our iterative P delta analysis command, which includes P large delta and P small delta, have been successfully added to the end of our input file. At this point in our workflow, we would be ready to perform an analysis and review our results. And then if needed, we can move on to the design phase of our workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.